mass defect is essentially the concept that if you break an atom in two, a process called fission, or if you combine two atoms to make one, a process called fusion, and accurately measure the reactants and products, you would end up with a slightly different total mass for each. This difference in mass can be accounted for in the form of energy. The principle of this can be seen in nuclear reactions and bombs. The major equation associated with mass defect is E equals mc squared, which was originally stated by Einstein. It basically says that energy can be converted to mass, or mass can be converted to energy. Um, basically, to use the equation, you put the mass deficit in the m part of the equation, and then you use the defined constant c for the c part. And now since c is actually a very large number, 3 to the 8th act, times 10 to the 8th. When you square that, it actually becomes very large. So it's a small mass defect can result in a lot of energy, actually. Now, obviously, we can't show you an actual nuclear reaction going on, because we don't have that kind of funding here. But we can give you sort of an example. Say this piece of paper is an atom. So after doing a nuclear reaction on this and splitting into two smaller atoms, we notice that the total mass of the paper is slightly diff slightly smaller. This is because some energy is converted into er some of the mass is converted into energy, thus using the equation E equals mc squared. The nuclear bomb utilizes the concept of mass defect, splitting enriched uranium atoms to create energy. As you can see here, the uncontrolled destructive force released by the bomb illustrates how much damage a relatively small mass can create. Mass defect, however, has more uses than just weaponry. Nuclear reactors use mass defect to create energy for cities without producing much waste. The reactors use mass defect to create large amounts of heat, which is then used to vaporize water. The ste this steam is then used to spin turbines, thus creating usable electricity. The few drawbacks to this form of energy are the radioactive waste that result from the reaction, and the difficulty in finding large amounts of reactants to use in the reactors. Additionally, all stars, including our own Sun, utilize fusion, which also involves the concept of mass defect. While fusion involves splitting an atom into smaller atoms, fusion involves combining smaller atoms into bigger ones and produces significantly more power than fusion, fission does. Okay, you two. Briefly explain how a nuclear reactor works. Um, so it's a breakdown of a radioactive element like uranium, and because of this reaction, the energy from it. Oh, okay, the energy from that heats up the water, and then the hot water causes the turbines to spin and creates energy. Yeah, that's it. Okay, when a uranium atom splits in half into a, in a nuclear reaction. Mm -hmm. Does the mass of the two ending elements equal the mass of the starting element? Not always. Sometimes you lose uh, radioactive particles and the mass changes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Harris, briefly explain the concept of mass defect. Mass what? Mass defect. Mass defect. When I create a lot of parts, there's bound to be some defective parts in that mass of parts. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> kind of like the Lakers and the NBA. Okay, there you Knock go. Knock it off. Okay. Okay, so say that this is an atom. Don't look at me. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Okay. You're doing this? Mass defect is sound cut. Got it to start with. The major equation associated with mass defect is E equals mc squared, which was um, stated by Einstein. For, um, to use it in an equation, you would, um, okay. So the concept of mass defect as a whole is it's kind of like a pirate. 
You know what I mean? It's like you're taking money. And you're probably gonna get the ship sunk somewhere, so the money's gonna go away. But now there's no money in the economy, so like the money that you took is kinda gone. And that has like a really huge effect on the economy eventually, so it's like a nuclear reaction or something, you know? With the with the power of everything.